Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and I think it's time to get something started here. Which could get interrupted because I do have an invite out to the one and only Pancro Jones. My partner in gooch hunting. This should be the new one. The, 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 the new deal. The new heist. Okay, slick car, bro. Now here's how we're going to score it. Get ready. You know Tony McTony? Yeah, that Tony McTony, the tech billionaire. Yeah, well, he's a total douchebag. He's always showing up at my parties and stealing the spotlight and the girls and everything. Total dick, bro. Yusuf has way more money than him, too. Anyway, he's a massive car collector, and he thinks he's so cool because he moves his favorite cars around on a private submarine. I could do that over the top shit, too, you know? I just didn't think of it first. But this car? This is his pride and joy. He won it at the LS car meet. Major underground cred, bro. We steal this, Yusuf's gonna love it, and it's a major fuck you. But like I said, it's on a submarine. We need to learn everything we can about it before we can try getting on there. So let's do some research. The McTony robbery. Scoping. Scoping out McTony. Tony McTony. I don't really know anything about Tony McTony. I really didn't do as much GTA 4 as you might think. Okay, so we're hitting Tony McTony. This shit is gonna be the highlight of my career, man. This dude wants to be me so bad. I buy a new boat, he buys a new boat. I say I want three girlfriends, he gets three girlfriends before I do. It's like, get an original idea, bro. So, we're gonna break into his private submarine, which, by the way, is strict the fuck out. Like Meriwether level. In fact, it's exactly like Meriwether's. So, we're gonna go to their headquarters and dig up some intel on how this submarine works. Then, once we figure out how, we're gonna infiltrate it in the middle of the ocean while it's underwater. Sounds good? All right. But why don't I just pull up my own? Oh yeah, probably don't want to discuss all that, right? Right. Do 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 do. So are we just gonna be pelting Merryweather with missiles and then taking pictures, or are we just gonna try to sneak in? I don't know. Meriwether isn't the final target, so I guess it's okay to be loud with them because no one's going to connect the two things. And we blow up Meriwether like regularly, right? Can you tell I'm not in a, in a sneaky, slow mood tonight? That's why I crank through this puppy. Stuff all around us. Are they saying we should go use the? See, there's. Yeah, this is just. Throw it. Well, they got problems. I mean, there's no question about problems. Yeah, we're gonna, there's no way we're gonna do this quiet. I mean, look, you have to go here and take a picture. Surrounded by Meriwether, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not a thing.
job when we're ready to rob it. Also, I've been thinking more about how we're gonna get into the moon pool, and it came to me. How does Tony get in there? Cause we should just copy him, right? So, let's steal his submersible! Alright, right off the bat I'm seeing a lot of emergency doors on the schematics. Looks like they can seal them up at the first sign of trouble. You think a cutting torch would get through those? I'll make a note. I just got the pick of the landing pad. This is definitely the best way off the sub. But for obvious reasons, we'll have to make sure it's above the surface first. It'll probably be a good idea to grab some of the guards' outfits too, just in case we need a disguise. Yeah, I think loud was the quick way in. As we fly over the boobs. Wrapping it up, coming back to the yard, and we're gonna do this thing. Thing. Well, here it is. It's the Saturday, last Saturday of the year, folks. In 2023. Okay, let us land this thing, and then. Send it home for repairs. Fix it up. I'll need it later. Wee! Yeah, I should be towing some cars in, but you know, we're, we're, we're focused. We're focused. Okay, did you see what I saw out there? Getting on that sub is gonna be tough. We need to find a vehicle that could do it in the first place. And some disguises too, like what those sub workers were wearing. And how are we supposed to deal with all the fancy shit they got jamming sonar? Plus those emergency doors. Ugh, we got a lot to do, baby. Let's get to it. Okay, let's start optional. Disrupt weapons. Well, maybe we shouldn't because I need my, my uh, whatchamacallit for that. I need my sparrow. Is the sparrow ready? That's going to be the same as always, probably. It's going to be go to a guy's house, shoot him, get a list of people to shoot. Service vehicle, sparrows, 41 seconds away. So soon. Maybe by the time he gets done talking to me about it. I say we make this whole crazy op as easy as possible for us. And as annoying as possible for this rich doucher. Let's destroy any heavy weapons they got moving so they can't use it on us while we're robbing the shit out of them. Let's start with the lockup I just sent you and we'll see what happens from there. How far away is the lockup? Not far. Let's take the car. Because that'll buy us some time to get the uh, helicopter. Go to the lockup. Go to a place. Do a thing. Get in the helicopter. Blast up with missiles. That's how this is going to go. Honkity honkity trying to stop me. Ooh, we're already on the clock. Well, it hurt me that I didn't take the helicopter from the start. Well, we want it fresh. Well then. Break into the lockup. Does anybody you even know? You guys are standing right there. They let me break in. 
Pum 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 Click click. Do we have to do the thing with it? Time's a wasting sticky bomb. What did I just grab? I'm just playing music. Are there still guys here? Let's go service Kotsaka Sparrow May. Jump on as my health slowly comes back from being ambushed as I left. I gave them a chance to walk away. They didn't take it, you know? Okay, so this is the closest one. You step right east red. I don't know if this is the best pattern, but you know, if there is a best pattern. This may or may not be it. Oh, it's in one of those places where it's tough to get people from uh, strike from above. This rolling? Yep. Okay, it's about an even... That's a little bit more red. We're gonna have to go... It's back and forth either way. We got six minutes. I should be able to do both targets are completely across the map in six minutes. Should not be an issue. Unless something horrible happens, which can happen, you know. The resilient vehicle. Tony McTony. It's been it's been reduced, but not eliminated. We're gonna go for the the full eliminated tie on here. We're being chased by a helicopter, but it's a lesser helicopter. Because this is not a sparrow, and so by definition, it's a lesser helicopter. Tony McTony, it's the Tony McTony. Missiles in your face! You didn't even see this coming, did you? All because you're all friends with that McTony guy. Okay. Closest next thing. Where are we landing here? No. It's a little bit rough. Man, I'll be honest with you. I am way less nervous about this whole thing with those weapons out of the way. Good work. He's still nervous. You're hey, not. It's you're your not. Friend, Simeon. You're, Simeon, you're not my friend right now. I don't need you right now. You've never been my friend. You've always been someone who tries to use me. We're gonna need to get you disguised so you blend in on that sub. I had a great idea for one. The newest member of McTony's submarine security team. Turns out, they like diving at this one spot. Think you could steal a uniform? Well, if I get some snacks in me... 
What should we have? What should we have? P's and Q's from when we're not under pressure, sprung for when we really need to chug it down, right? Will this be just grab something or will this be an uncontested thing? Sometimes these are really simple. Drive up till you see something. Swipe. And then hostility. Drop in. Do you want to start with me? Do you really and truly? Well and truly. Don't worry, they'll respond. It's a video game. We'll be shooting them later. Same guys. Probably gonna need a fresh helicopter after this, but you know, you'll have this. Tony McTony, it's Tony McTony. Anthony McTony would be more appropriate. Oh, that's gonna blow the blow the, the thing right up, probably. It's, uh, Tony McTony, the Tony, the Tony McTony. Don't how annoying is that? Saying Tony McTony over again. Is there a dead helicopter here? There's no helicopter here. Okay, so. Let's cowboy up. That other one wasn't too far, was it? Come on, oh no, it is. It's bullet for sleep all the way. Okay. Still, I guess we have to do some snowing about, shall we? I could bring in the buzzard. Should we bring in a buzzard? You know, we never use the buzzard anymore. It's a classic. Buzzard until the sparrow responds, you know? So far, pretty standard fare. Gotta check the guns, you know, make sure they're working. can feel that little bit difference. It's a little bit slower than the Sparrow. So we bring it down somewhere, somewhere. Oh, there's the little green thingy. Nice landing. All right. Think you could find a cutting torch over there? Trust me. Once they start sealing those doors, that shit's gonna come in handy. Why is it always? Uh, why do we always have to steal a cutting torch? Can't I just keep my own personal favorite cutting torch and just take it home and put it under the bed? No one's gonna know. No, there's no way of tracing a cutting torch back to where it cut. That's not how that works. That's not how any of that works. I should just have my own standard favorite cutting torch that I use in all these things and use it for the the Keo Perico and. 
The whole nine yards. Not that I ever want to do the Cayo Perico again. Cayo Perico. How hard is it to find a cutting torch? Is it down in the hole? Think you can find a cutting torch? It's a good location to go find a cutting torch, I mean, so. There it is. Steal a cutting torch. And then run like hell. I stole the cutting torch because everybody steals the cutting torches. Not the hardest cutting torch I've gotten, really. Cutting torches! They have to be stolen. Every time. I like how many of these, you know, when the they say, oh yeah, yeah, get rid of the cutting torch. You just put them up on eBay and then the same people buy them back. And you're stealing the same torch over and over again. Like, what's your defense? You think that's going to, if you get pinned for the Kyle Pariki, you think the cutting torch is going to be the, I think Tony McTony's not going to be like, oh, you, did you, I'm sure it's this guy, but he doesn't have a cutting torch. You know, I don't personally own a cutting torch. Maybe, I'm starting to think maybe I should get one. I mean, they seem to come in awfully handy. And again, I'm not really involved in any heists, so I mean, I guess that's yeah, not a thing. Not doing a lot of body work either, so you know. As the economy goes south, and you know, we start turning our cards into Mad Max kind of stuff. Well, then maybe, uh, hey, there you go. Maybe I'll need one. I think you can't really re return the uh, the buzzard. Okay, so the optionals are all done. I think well those might not be optional, those are but the tasks are done. Sonar equipment. I was looking at the map this morning and thought, yo, we're gonna need sonar to find that sub. The ocean is huge. And then I heard about this warehouse that just got a huge shipment in of some top-of-the-line radar shit. If you bring a couple of things back, we'll install something on the submersible that can bypass the sub's radar jamming equipment. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm having... I'm having issues. Radar and sonar are not the same, except that they send something out and bounce something back. But you're talking the difference between, you know, acoustic pulses and radio frequency pulses. That you don't use RF underwater and call it sonar. That's not what it is. If we're if we're do if we're trying to undo is unless we're trying to use radar because radar underwater radar you don't you get a lot of attenuation so it's not really a thing. That's why we use sonar. Otherwise we just use radar. Or do we use radar? And I'm not aware of it. Who knows? Maybe it's me behind. This these all these people need to be killed, don't they? Yep. Fine. Oh, you guys scared me off. Hey, hey, look at this. Yeah, it's not quite as good as a sparrow, you know. It's gotta have the patience here. Let's give it a little bit of an angle. Ooh. Well, I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. That's going to complicate the mission. Guess we'll be leaving here on a sparrow, ladies and gentlemen. 
That was funny. He splooshed it. Yes, and see, it's the same guys. It's always the same guys. You're dealing with wet Santa. Do you realize how much trouble you're in? Ooh, in the face and in the face. Anybody else yelling? Yep. Okay. There's one guy on the roof who I hit fired two missiles at. Do I want to blow up this truck or do I want to use it later? It's, not, it's just beginning. It's just beginning. I am? Is that like Valentine's Day already? That sounds like a heavy machine gun. I'm coming for you! Move it up! Oh, that wasn't intentional. I didn't really plan on blowing anything up in here because I might need it, you know? Oh god, they're all on fire! What the? That guy just came through the door and shot me. We were clear. He like appeared and point blanked me with a, a combat shotgun, and you get to bleed to death up there. We got multiple men down. You know, I'm really had it with you guys. And your constant bullshit. Where is that coming from? Right. Snack attack. Death embrace you. I guess the guy in the roof's still bleeding. Whoa! I guess it would make sense that they'd be waiting for me. Is this like an endless stream of them? I mean, we should be able to get them at some point here. Anybody else got an opinion? Empty. First one's always empty. Second one's always empty too. It's the third one that's always got the thing. No, oh, look, there's stuff in here. I admit. Oh well, here we go. I'm wrong. Let's steal the sonar equipment. Exit the warehouse. What was in the third one? I got to know. I oh, know you can't open it. Okay. That's where the crown jewels were. Okay, before we do anything, then I'm probably going to have a welcoming committee. I know I'm not using body armor because now I'll have to use one of my few. I'm fully loaded and I don't mean you don't. You have nothing because you have everything. Did you do what I think you did? I'm getting machine gun to smithereenies. What's what's bail? Luckily, he took a quick truck, and we should be able to lose them in the snow, right? Something exploded. Did they just? blow themselves up? We 
It's gonna break off at some point. Oh, they're not breaking off. Okay, fine. This, this falls under the heading of, I'm going to take it off-road. Did they disengage now? No, they didn't. Come on up the hill, guys. This is totally a trap, but you know. I definitely picked the right one of their trucks to steal. Okay, can we see them with the, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's do this. One down, two to go. Should be able to part this thing out. So there's your sonar equipment. Let's get some more snacks. I'm shot full of bullet holes, but at least I can get some snacks. See me? I am bleeding on you. Yes, snacks, because snacks will fix bullet holes. Let's, let's open the safe to make ourselves heal better. I like how they have like weapons randomly strewn around, like hammers and wrenches, because you could use them if you didn't have one. Um, and there's a soda machine, isn't there? Yeah. And then just rather than use one of those, get the quick fix. Just for the fun of it. Just cuz. Because all of that was violent. Only one thing left, right? Yep. Tony Submersible. Let's pull in this barrel. Keep your eye on Sparrow. All right. So I found the dock where McTony keeps it submersible. That's exactly what we need to be on if we want to go through the sub's moon pool without anybody thinking we're up to something. You pull up in that and a security outfit? I guarantee they invite you to stay for drinks with the crew. <coughs> After they start shooting. Holy shit! So where are we going to take it to? We can't bring it back here. Right? Tony Mc, Tony Mc, Tony, Tony Mc. I, I, I chose to do this last because this would... This would raise some suspicion for Tony Mc, Tony. Tony Mc, Tony Mc, Tony, Tony Mc, Tony Mc, Tony. Okay, what am I blowing up? Give me directions. I'm here at terminal. Okay, so we have to kill everybody. Thank you for making that clear. Fire the anti goon missiles. use the unstoppable artillery barrage from the from the sparrow 
we can get an angle on that one. <laughs> you know, I have to admit that having survived that, if your response is, fuck you, well, that's pretty darn impressive. We're not locking onto this last guy. We should be able to deal, right? He's he's hunkered down. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I mean, it's just doesn't make any sense what you're doing here. Where are you? Right there. What are you doing? Access the release switch. Oh, you have to climb the whole thing. All right. At the top of the crane, you know. At least it's not all the way. I guess it's mostly there. Release the thing. Okay, let's try not to die falling off the steel Tony submersible. Swim time! Wait a minute, did I not get in? Okay, there we go. Once you get the submersible, I'll send over your mechanic's current location. That thing is too hard to have back at the scrapyard, so he's gonna hold it for us until it's time to rock. This feels a little faster than mine. Could they have zipped it up a little bit, or I just haven't used my cranky in a long time? It has been a long time. Well, no one's coming after me. So can we go? Can we surface? I mean, is that... Tony McTony just got robbed by Santa Claus. Well, not the real Santa Claus, but that's how I'm dressed. That's how the media will report it. Okay, there's a little yellow there. You no, know, we could just directly store this on my uh, submarine. You know I have a sub. You know I have a Kosaka. Now is Pancor still on? You can send them the game invite. He may be doing the same thing, you know? Okay, we have to return... Service vehicle. I'm again, still getting used to the... Then how long until we pull it back? Two minutes. That's entirely too long. Too long. Um, what about my vehicle? My regular vehicle. Knife away. It's not even close. Solid performance out there, bro. I got a guy who's going to hold on to the submersible until the big day. Can we just jack a saddler or whatever this is? 
It's a locked vehicle. You never see that. All right, well, you know, the best way to do this, I'll just hit another invite. Pop another invite only, teleport myself back. I'm not against using the teleport. Gets me my hat back, friends. What happened there? Okay, the Pancro. Send game invite. Last time I joined, tried to join him, I couldn't join him. Probably doesn't seem like it's an urgent game invite. I mean, it's Everything just. Good? Laters. Laters, okay. Should we give him a minute? I don't know. Friends. He's invited, but is he busy? Nothing against everybody else. It's just that, you know, Panker has been, you know, we've, we've been working together on a couple different specific things here. I don't want to bother anybody else. Like, hey, you want to go help me do a heist? Eh, probably not. Okay, I'm guessing he doesn't show up pretty quickly. He's probably busy with something, or he's even AFK. Not that that lasts long, because you can't do that very much anymore. So maybe he's doing the exact same thing I'm doing and right now. And it is the big day at last. You know, I feel like if there's one thing I've taken from you as a mentor is how to enjoy high-stakes robberies. And if there's one thing you're going to take from me, it's how incredibly satisfying it is to ruin Tony McTony's day. Trust me, this is going to be sweet. Poop. Tony McTony, Tony McTony. The Fathom FR36. So I might keep that one too for a little while in case we ever get a chance to buy these things. Because that might be the new, the new, uh, okay. I don't know how you feel, coupe. Okay. Polito Cove. So, we're robbing a priceless car from a submarine. We're breaking into a submarine to steal a totally unique car. Hey, where did you steal that incredible car? Thank you for asking. From a submarine. Yeah, there's just no way to say this that doesn't sound insane. I'm not I'm not driving six miles in the snow. We're gonna helicopter this out there. Polito Cove, man. I might end up having to drive the thing back six miles if that's how this ends up, but eh, let's not do it twice. I guess this is one of the cases where it's better to have the cheap uh, auto shop, but eh. I, I like the ones I've got. I think strawberry might have the slight edge. It might actually have the slight edge, but I do like this one. Tuny McToni.
I have no idea what happens next. I know I'm going to approach a submarine. I know it'll involve a cutting torch. You know, it's an interesting thing, is that it's not all about the car for him. Can you tell that? Get that returned so we can get that clock going as quickly as possible. Look out! Woo! <laughs> I should have probably gotten some armor for this. I've already used up a couple of snacks here. Falling off the, the hill. But only... I think maybe even just a sprunk. Don't you think? A couple of sprunks. Just a... You want a sprunk stop for... For good luck. Left control to descend. Hey look! There's the detector! Okay, fine. You ascend a little bit. You know, you could probably just drive this thing. Okay, let's let's get out of that viewpoint. This is gonna be the slow part. I couldn't leave put this don't I even have this sonar attachment already on my Toreador. We could have zipped out here, no problem. It's, it's up to jam radar. You don't use radar. No. It's all sonar down here, baby. I have to Google that now. Is there any way to use radar against submarines? So I'm not talking ridiculousness. Maybe that'll be a follow-on conversation when I do this again with Rusty Jack. If I do this again and make a video out of it. This is pretty shallow water. Like, I can't even really stay underwater. Of course, I guess sneaking up is not the thing. It's, it's all about the, the disguise. No, totally. Oh, this is this is weird. Okay, there's a wreckage of an airplane. That's interesting. Did they guide you this way just so you could see some stuff? Is that the the way the mission was built or? Okay, we're good. We're closing on it. We should be able to see it by now. Red 5, can you see it from where you're at? No sign of any... Wait, coming in point three five. I see it. Okay, so we need to sink. Friend who used to, who was at one point in his life in the subservice. Still have him as a friend. He's still a friend, but I haven't talked to him in a long time. He used to say, Oh, just remember, all ships can sink, only submarines can come back up. Hello. 
Get to the engine room. Did you make it? Okay, head right for the engine room. We gotta knock out their navy so they can't dive deeper and fuck this whole thing up. Use that cutting torch if you have to. Um Which way was the engine room? That way. I think you get pissed with me? I have a I have a disguise. Yeah, see, he has a Tory door. That's the thing you want to steal. It's way more valuable than the, uh... Really? You can't just turn the thing? It's, there's a, there's a, there's a handle right there. You just turn it to unlock. Shoot the consoles. Really? Like, no one's gonna notice this? Like, really? Just quietly shooting the consoles. Quietly shooting the consoles in front of you. I mean, come on. The fact that that guy has um, not died from 900 shots to the head, I'm willing to get bet it's him. Nope. I guess that we destroyed that su uh, sufficiently. Hello? Are you dead but not dead? What are you Locate Tony's head of security. Well, let's see. Is there an exit out this way? It doesn't go through all the... Oh, that was the head of security, maybe. I'll just open it to cut the door open. Okay. Or just grab the handle and turn it to see. You know, it's just... Actually, if that's to O, oh, then it's already open, is it not? Am I not having holding a gun? Like, you need to be holding a gun, son. This weapon? Now I'm dead. You know... Does this put me outside? No, but it puts me in a very bad place. What was that? that? Lots of people shooting from... Which way should I be going? If we're looking for head of security... Let's consider this. Did it just teleport me in the right direction? Hmm. Back to a gun. Put your hands up. If you hear the party, put your MRF and hands up. My buddy's been shot. Help. Say goodnight. See, if the layout goes the way of the other one. I'm not kidding you. You're not the head of security, are you? No. He's got a helmet or something. Man down in your pants. Okay, you know what? I think it's time for a sprunk break. Definitely time for a sprunk break, don't you think? That's... That's what Sonny Evans would do. Where is this guy?
randomly somewhere. Let's just tell, let's go out of the sub. We down in the cafeteria. Oh, there you are. Yeah, he's down. He's, he was just taking a nap. I just shot him six times in the chest. What the fuck? You eliminated Tony's head. Search the body for. Oh, I was here before. There's a guy yelling fuck you and shooting at me. I was right in the balls. That looked painful. Which way did I go through here? I went through there. Don't worry, you're getting out of here soon enough. Makes you wonder exactly how common these submarines are out on the open market. I just go completely around in a circle for no reason now. What's the You fucking idiot? Yeah, I know, really. Why who shot me? Drop it. Let's go. Back to here. I'm really getting tired of whoever's shooting at me. I never did get my way around the the Kutsaka very well. You piece of shit. Well, you've been hiding in the corner. That's the guy who killed me last time. Well, now you're. Get on the floor. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. I will shoot everybody. Error, buddy. He's downstairs from me. Otherwise, he'd be right here. Where that's at? That's a close the door or something like that. Do I have to kill everybody on this sub? Like every bud D in this sub? Even the cook? If you hear the party. You fucker. Anybody moving on me here? Snack this up before I get the codes and then 17 people come after me. Matter of fact, ooh, that was a quick spin around. You fucker! Is he above me? Must be above me. We're gonna drive the boat, okay. Well, from here I know where I'm going. Blam, 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 blam. Get to the bridge, kill anybody else on the bridge. We've already killed everybody on the bridge. Right. Did we blow the navigation computers? Let's put a mask on me like it always does. All right, there's a beach straight ahead. Just keep it steady. The plan is to crash right on top of it. It'll be fine. I promise. Just don't kill me if you survive, okay? Yeah, <laughs> we can only move in one direction because yeah, we blew everything else up. Put it right on the snow.
Yep, puts a mask on you. Okay, I didn't see the car there. Yo, you okay? Because if you are, you've got to move. The cops are definitely on their way now. So activate the landing pad as soon as you shake off the concussion. Get the car and get out of there. A lot of real life police tonight. That's just annoying. God bless him. Well, not annoying, but I mean, it's like, that's too bad. It's like there's something horrible going on, is my thought. Annoying for them. Is this the car? I thought it was white. Okay, activate the terminal. Inside the security thing. Finger. Another guy to shoot, isn't there? In the face with you! So now I should get in the car. It'll load it like it's a sparrow. Oh my goodness! All right, so this this might be challenging. in the snow. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. Hopefully it's a challenge for them as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking we pull into some of our G-Fred experience. What do you say? Now, I'm not taking the hot lap route, but I am going to take the train. Let's take the tracks. Not into the train, of course. But none of the cars are going to follow me this way. And once we get into the tunnel, we should be able to lose the helicopters. G Fred, it rules. G Fred really helps us in GTA. To screw over. Tony McTony. Okay. That should be it. Hey, nobody going to stop us now. It's just a matter of wait inside this here tunnel. Deep inside this tunnel. If any police cars come up this road, come up this, uh, I will be impressed. Up there, they come up the train tracks. No, they don't. There's your hack for this. Thank you, Bruffy1322. Who, otherwise, I would not have thought about this way as being a main way back. Now, we can't launch this into the river. Tony McToney! Yeah, we're not, we're not jumping off right there. We're just going to continue on a little bit here. Actually, I mean, if you look at the way this goes, this is a way uh, more direct path. Except for the train. We need to get away from the train. If we look at the... Now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna veer off here pretty soon. So we, we're gonna have to dismount where we normally dismount pretty much. Ow. So I was saying I, I was doing a little bit of coupe racing and this one. Apparently it's a coupe. So we cross one more bridge. 
do the G for a dismount. And now it's just a 3.4 mile drive back. Oh, G Fred, it's awesome if you know the ins and outs of the G Fred. And the traffic was always screwed with us, so you know. But we're not gonna we're not gonna screw with the traffic. We're not gonna shoot the traffic or anything because we just wanted to get this thing home. Bit of a snow drive, but but you. I think that would that that tactic would work in any case, snow or not snow. Be funny if that helicopter picked us up and came after us. Now the snow is definitely sauce for the goose, Mr. Savick. You know, it's the odds are even. Actually, they're more in our favor because we're not AI that's not really programmed to drive us up. Interesting, there's that still one hostile helicopter, but I forget what other mission you get that on. On one of the, um, it's one of the sails for, uh, the Acid Lab. It'd be like one hostile helicopter that just doesn't move. Over the original target. There you have it. That wasn't too bad, really. It was kind of funny. A lot of shooting. Died a lot. I gotta do some maintenance here, too. Robbery complete! Yeah, not a lot of bonuses there, but hey. Now we got two cars here. He's taking selfies with. <laughs> I can't believe he won up Tony. Later. Next time I see him, I guarantee he's gonna be kissing my ass, and I'm gonna be like, "Shut up, Tony! I got a cooler friend now." Award: New car smell. I wonder if you fill up all four of them, if that's how you max that out, or is it just how many cars you've stolen? Total. Yeah, we're still on to the. Uh, do we want to? No, I'm not going to sell it in case I want to buy both of these. You all good? I'm all good. You keep taking pictures of stuff, you know, Grand Theft Auto taking credit for. Yeah, you take credit for that when the police come, they'll get you. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Tony McTony robbery. I just keep saying that Tony McTony. Tony McTony, and uh, I am your Black Knight, and you should have a great night.